her eye candy, Darius Gray. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Shaw, oh, that feels good. It's been about, oh, 40 years and 60 pounds ago that I was last eye candy. <laughs> now, according to the 1964 Civil Rights Act, you can sit anywhere in this bus you want, so feel free to come forward. <laughs> but then I forget this is an LDS group. We do tend to sort of stay in the background, don't we? <laughs> well, here we are in the afternoon of the second day. And I think we need to find out how well you people have been paying attention. You look like a, uh, a fairly bright group. Yeah, a fairly bright group. So we're going to have a test. Now, this test is very simple, very straightforward. There are no trick answers expected. The obvious answer is the answer I'm looking for. So, here we go with the test. Now you'll see how simple and basic this is. For what invention was Alexander Graham Bell known? Telephone. Telephone, okay. Who invented the light bulb? Thomas Edison. And this came up with uh, a speaker we had just a short bit ago. For what is Samuel Morris known? Telegraph. Telegraph. Morris code. Da 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 did it. Da 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 did it. Any radio amateurs here? Any ham operators? Da 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 did it. <laughs> Alrighty. We know what that means. You know code. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> For what was James Watt known? See, I told you we were a fairly bright group. I had confidence. Who invented the cotton gin? Ooh. You guys are good. Now maybe these are too easy. Let me uh, make it a little bit more difficult. Let's go to uh, some ancient history. In ancient Greece, they were divided into city-states. And there were two primary heavyweight city-states, and they were always contending with each other. What were they? Alright. Try this one. In ancient Egypt, there was a city of great learning that had a great library. The city was? Alexandria. Oh, okay, you're going to play like that, are you? <laughs> ah, you've heard, I do pay. <laughs> well, then let's come to some more recent history. Um, who lost at the Battle of Waterloo? Wow. Extra points if you can say who won. Wellington. The Duke of Wellington. Well, that one got a little harder. Good, I feel better. Um, what happened in the year 1066? Norman Conquest, Battle of Hastings. Okay. Well, since you're doing so well with all those, let's come back to U.S. history. Uh, see how you do on some more history here. What year was Dr. Martin Luther King assassinated? 1968. Date? What was Plessy versus Ferguson, and what was its significance? The Supreme Court in 18, decision in 1896 that formally gave legal sanction to segregation. By whom? You said to make sure the, the case was before the Supreme Court. United States Supreme Court. Now, we've got one young man up here who's very in tune to this, but I noticed there were fewer of you with the answer on that one. Um, let's try this one. Who was Marcus Garvey and what was his principal position? Evangelist, early 1920s, uh, favored a separate nation for the Negro people, moved to Cuba to establish a community which failed. Where you go, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever has five butts, I want it to go to this young man. 
Ken Jennings. All right. What was Brown versus Board of Education? When was it? And what did it overturn? And you don't get the answer. Which came in what ruling? Oh, yes, all right. It overturned Plessy versus Ferguson, which was in 1896, which is the year my father was born. So you see, some of these things have been right smack dab in the middle of my family from the get-go. Um, so the, we're not talking too ancient a history here, but let's try a few more. Um, well, no, let's not, just let's move forward. I, I, I notice that there are significantly fewer hands and answers coming to these last few questions. Things about civil rights in the United States of America. Now, some people would say, well, knowing the Battle of Hastings and Waterloo and all of those sorts of things are far more significant than Marcus Garvey. To which I would ask the question, how many of you have ever used a cotton gin? <laughs> How many of you have even seen a cotton gin? Yet we know about Eli Whitney and the cotton gin, and we know of these other points of history. Why? Because a society teaches that which it values. We have not valued the contributions of persons of color in this country. We have not valued that portion of our own history in this country. Let's make this a little bit more personal in terms of the LDS Church. What year was the LDS Church established? 1830. 1830. When do we have record of the first black member in the LDS Church? The year was 1832, just two years after the founding of this faith. The individual was a man we'll talk about a little bit more uh, later. His name was Elijah Abel. What year did blacks receive the priesthood? What year did blacks receive the priesthood? Elijah Abel was ordained to the priesthood in 1836. When did the saints migrate from the east to the Salt Lake Valley? 1840. Got here in 47. They were a little slow back then. Transportation wasn't what it is now. When did the first blacks with the saints come into the valley? 1847. The very first wagon train into this valley was preceded by some black servants, which my eminent partner and co-author, Margaret Young, will now speak to. Ladies and gentlemen, Margaret Blair Young. This is Green Flake, one of the three, on, on the Brigham Young statue, that they're referred to as colored, C-O-L-O-U-R-E-D, servants. It's Green Flake, Clark Lane, and Oscar Crosby. But according to the best records we can find, the words Brigham Young spoke, this is the right place, drive on, were probably spoken to this man. Uh, he's, in, in this crowd, you, a good many of you have probably heard of him. In a lot of crowds, he's a name that nobody knows of at all. Uh, a remarkable man, and we'll, we'll talk just a little bit about him, but mostly when uh, Renee introduced me, and introduced Arias and me, she talked about us as writing fiction, 